Okay, let's take a look at the Aerospike AMC Enterprise Edition. This edition is a little bit different than the Community Edition and includes some advanced features. Uh, similarly to the Community Edition, all you have to do to connect to a cluster is to, uh, first of all, give it the IP address or host name, colon 8081, which is the default AMC port, and then enter in the seed node. So this is the host name or the IP address of any node in your cluster. When you connect in, uh, there are some slight differences between this interface and the Community Edition interface. First of all, there is a login uh, button here, and when you click the login button, uh, you can uh, enter in the password, so I'll enter that in. Uh, the default password here is admin, and when you log in, an admin console option shows up here, so this is one of the, the newer options. So to start with, on the dashboard console, the difference here is that number one, there is an alert uh, console. It'll show you what the most recent alerts are. This one will show you that there was some uh, cluster integrity problems a little while ago, for instance, and that will stay up there. Uh, most of the rest of the interface here is very similar. However, because uh, the Enterprise Edition includes the ability to do XDR or cross data center replication, uh, we also have a new panel for uh, XDR. So if you are sending and trying to synchronize uh, two different clusters, then this cluster is sending data over to another cluster and it will show you the state of XDR on each one of these nodes. And you can see one of them is actually turned off right now. So I could go ahead and turn this on right now and that would um, issue a change here that would, uh, would take place. Uh, the other thing that is very different about this is a latency uh, tab at the top menu item. Uh, this latency chart will allow you to take a look at the latencies as measured on the server for any given node uh, and, in fact, uh, different uh, behaviors. So, for instance, if you wanted to take a look at the write level for the write master or the master write of uh, this node, uh, so uh, .145, um, you can just click on that one. If you want to take a look at the reads, you can click on that one. And what this does, it will show you in different color bands uh, how many transactions took uh, less than one millisecond, between one and eight milliseconds, eight and 64 milliseconds, and more than 64 milliseconds. And this gives you a pretty good idea of how fast the servers begin to respond. If the latencies measured here on the server are very different than what you might be measuring on the client side, then there might be some uh, reason to think that the client is having problems. If, however, the latencies are showing up uh, uh, very strongly on the server or on the node, then you're having problems there. Uh, and then the last menu item here has some different options. So for instance, you can change the AMC update interval. You can change the password for the uh, default admin user. So you can change that here very quickly. Uh, and you can do a backup or a restore. Now when you're doing a backup, you need to enter in the namespace of the data that you want to, to, uh, to, to backup, of course. The destination network address, the file path, uh, username and password for that server. And here there is the um, option to only back up a specific set. So if you have different sets of data, but you only care about one set of them now, you can go ahead and only um, back up that one. You can decide to only do metadata. You can decide that if the cluster changes at all during the backup, that it's going to go ahead and terminate the backup and then set the backup priority. Now one word of caution here is if you happen to set the backup priority at high and your traffic begins to burst, you may notice a little bit of uh, trouble with uh, the front end side, meaning latencies may get a little bit longer. So we generally recommend just to leave it on medium uh, if you are doing this kind of a backup. So if you uh, want, you can close that particular panel and we can take a look at the view attributes panel. So let's take a look now at the nodes. Uh, these look actually somewhat similar to the community edition one. However, there is one difference, which is that you can set uh, different values and this will be done dynamically, meaning that the servers will be up when you make these changes. So if you wanted to change the batch priority from 200 down to 100 or up to 400, you can go ahead, put this new value in uh, hit apply configuration and it'll go ahead and make those changes dynamically. Now one word of caution here is that this does not change the value in the default configuration file. So if your cluster restarts, it will pull the uh, old value from the configuration files. Those changes have to be made manually. 
Uh, and another thing you can do is filter, just like you did before with the Community Edition, on specific ones. So if you're only interested in a specific type of uh, configuration, like for high watermarks, for instance, you can put HWN and figure out exactly which one you want to change very quickly. Uh, that's for the nodes. You can do the same thing with the namespace. Simply give it a namespace name. Uh, and I should get rid of the filter here. And it will uh, only show you the namespace variables. And then finally, you can do the same thing with XDR, and it'll, it'll show you all those variables as well. Um, again, if you make any changes, you can apply these dynamically. And with that, that is the um, Aerospike Enterprise Edition. If you do have any questions, you can just go to the uh, AMC Enterprise Edition page with a link down at the bottom here. And this will take you to the main Aerospike page, which will uh, give you uh, some resources to take a look more at the system.